Hi guys, Misty here, and I wanted to do a video to touch base on three very important concepts that you need to have a very well understood, not necessarily memorized, okay, um, so that you can do well on the upcoming term for muscle skeletal rehab. So the first thing I want to do is I want to show you the definitions of them on the board and then I'm going to flip the camera and then try to explain to you and hopefully this will become very clear and you'll never have a problem with it again. Okay, so the first thing is um, the three terms are closed pack, loose pack or open pack and capsular pattern. Okay, so what I want you to know about this when a joint now we're going to talk about joints okay when it's on a closed pack position the joint surfaces are congruent misty what does congruent means there's a perfect fit between the two surfaces of the joint the ligaments are taut meaning they're they're nice and and, and not loose and they're more stable on a closed pack position and you can maybe call it that it's locked well Conversely, an open pack position, the joint surfaces are separate, the ligaments are more loose, the joint will be less stable, and you can kind of call it unlocked, or you can think of it as free to move. And then capsular pattern is basically limitations that all your body parts, your joints are going to show regardless of your orthopedic injury. Now, I see I put regardless on um, quotations because nothing that we do is very black and white, but you need to think of it as basically if I have knee pain, if I have a, a, an ACL injury, if I have a meniscus injury, so regardless of the underlying injury, I'm going to have a pattern that is capsular to my joint and it will most always present it this way. So for example, if I have a knee injury, I will be most limited when I'm trying to flex and then less limited or least limited when I'm trying to extend. Now, this is based on research and science. So if you have someone who has just twisted their knee and you ask them, hey, what is harder for you to do? A great percentage of them are going to tell you it's harder for me to flex my my knee versus extended that is the capsular pattern for the knee another example that i have for you is the glenohumeral joint so if someone injures the glenohumeral joint the shoulder they fall on their shoulder they don't even know what it is most limited they'll have external rotation abduction and medial rotation which takes us to think that the least limited motions are going to be the other motions, flexion, extension, adduction, and et cetera. Again, this is not something I came up with. This is directly from your uh, board book. As you can see, there are common capsular patterns of the joints. It is in the muscle skeletal system unit. And what you're going to do is be familiar with them, try to make sense of them. As you can see here, the knee as the example that I just gave you okay and the glenohumeral joint and you'll see how you would present and uh, the patient would present so a good one is lumbar spine if somebody has a, a problem on their back chances are they'll have a hard time flexing laterally and rotating and then they're also going to have problems going backwards in extension okay so know these three terms know them well Use the pictures that I put for you and get ready for muscle skeletal rehab. Okay guys, so now I've flipped the camera. I'm going to go ahead and try to demonstrate to you what I meant by closed pack, open pack, and then capsule pad. As you can see, closed pack and open pack, they're pretty related. Capsule pattern is a whole different concept altogether. Um, that is important. You'll see as we come into the to the different um, concepts of joint mobilizations and wrapping up a joint in a stable position, and that's where that open and closed back um, will come in handy. But just as in the example that we gave for the knee, so your tibial femoral joint, okay, which will be the tibia and the femoral joint, okay. What do you think 
the clothes pack i'm leaving it right here so you can take a look what do you think the clothes pack position is going to be okay this or this and if you answer the extension with a small lateral rotation on the tibia you're correct the closed pack and if you go back to our definition it tells you the joint surfaces are touching the ligaments are straight they're taut and the joint is more stable okay and it's kind of locked you can see it's kind of locked that's for the knee joint open pack somewhere with about 25 degrees of knee flexion and you can see how he opened the space on that joint which means if i needed to do a joint mobilization if i have a close back i can't mobilize anything i literally have to bring it to that open pack position and then try to mobilize it a little bit ahead but just giving you a heads up of what's coming okay and so the shoulder um what do you think it is uh -huh -huh. so let's go for the shoulder okay um if i'm to say what's going to be the most close pack so i don't know if you can see it up here let's use a few motions here okay you got medial rotation you get external rotation see how it kind of touches there you have horizontal adduction you have horizontal abduction then you have some flexion over here you have some extension so even though this this um skeleton doesn't move as well as we want to take a look if i say what if i opened it look at the joints here okay what if i really abducted it and then rotated laterally let's see if i can bring this over you see look abducting and then locked okay so as an example, the glenohumeral joint has abduction and external rotation as your closed pack position. Whereas if I was to ask you, where, um, how are you going to do a open pack position? If you look back to the motions we did, when I went and adducted, you have good space in the joint there. Let's see, good space there on horizontal adduction. Um, as I'm abducting, you can see as I'm abducting their space is when I go into full abduction that that space is gone. You see? So as an example, if I'm doing a joint mobile on the shoulder, I wanted to bring it slightly, okay, to um, abduction and also to horizontal adduction. So I'm going to bring it about 50 degrees. You see? It's pretty open. Let's see. There it is. And then I'm going to bring it into horizontal adduction. Oh, look at that. How much space was open. And that is, again, ladies and gentlemen, the definition of loose pack. The joint surfaces are separate. The ligaments are loose. And uh, it's less stable, as you can see, and it's free to move. So that is straight up, closed pack, open pack.